Hey, today I'm going to go over selections in Photoshop CS5, although this can relate to CS3 and CS4 as well, you know, the other versions, um, and even CS2. Basically, in Photoshop, it's based on pixels, and I have a one of the default photos open here from Windows, and if I press Control Plus, Command and Plus on Mac, and Control Plus on PC, you can zoom in, it's a shortcut zoom, and you can see these pixels. That's what this photo is made out of. And that was about 3200% view. Right now we're at 100%. When you want to make a selection, the reason you'd want to do that is if you want to move certain pixels around, or if you want to add an effect to a specific area, or if you wanted to copy a specific area and create a new file from that. So go ahead and open up a photo and first thing you want to do whenever you open up a photo and you have the layers palette over here if you don't see it just go to window then layers but right over here go ahead and double click on it and click OK we'll just name it layer zero that makes it a little bit more editable than just being a background layer now go ahead and click up here if you click and hold on the tool tools palette if you don't have that go ahead and go to window and then tools it's a second from the top the rectangular marquee tool if you click and hold on to it it also pull out elliptical marquee tool and this is if you want to make a square or a rectangle selection or circle or oval selection so go ahead and click on rectangular marquee tool and click and drag a selection out here. If you hold shift, it'll maintain perfect proportion, so you'll just have a square. And then we have a selection out here, see those marching ants. Now if we go ahead and click on the move tool right here on the top of the tools palette, you can click and drag and you'll see I'm moving these pixels now around the palette, right? Now just press Control Z to undo that and you can click anywhere if you want to deselect or you can go to select and deselect but either way if you want to deselect that and let's just try the circle one click and hold and do elliptical marquee tool you'll notice you can do some different shapes here but if I hold shift it'll maintain that perfect circle and and I'll let go and I have a circle right here selected now instead of moving it around let's try pressing control J if you're on a Mac press command J and what that does is create this new layer of whatever was selected over here so if I click this eye icon on the layers palette you'll notice this new layer is just whatever was selected so that's a handy little thing that, that uh, effect that can come in handy now another way to select let's say you want to select not just a square but maybe a specific shape go ahead and click and drag with the elliptical marquee tool and then hold shift and you'll notice it adds a small plus sign to the cursor and you click and drag and whatever you add to it holding shift adds to that selection so we have a unique little shape here Okay, I'm going to click the eye icon so I'm not mess messing with that new layer. So I'm on the bottom layer. I've hit backspace. I could delete those. But that just shows you what was selected. Okay, I'll press Control Z to undo that. Now you can also add to this with other selection tools or I'll, you can just start a new one. So I'll just click to, un or, uh, to deselect that. And if you click and hold on this third from the top one, you can do lasso tool. That's just clicking and dragging and you just have a selection like any shape okay if you click and hold on the polygonal lasso tool what that does is if you click and let go click and let go click and let go it just does straight paths and you can double click and it'll complete the circle there and I hit backspace to show you what I selected and so those are, are a couple ways of selecting pixels now Another way is you can do the quick selection tool. 
And what that is, it tries to find edges. So right here, if I wanted to select this branch, see it did select the branch because that's a pretty defined edge. But it gets a little bit more complicated. You can press left and right bracket whenever using a brush like this, and that will automatically resize it as we go. Or you can change it up here. And you can notice, see, it doesn't really do it quite well right here because it's not as defined. Another one is Magic Wand Tool, and you just click once, and that tries to find that tries to find the edges as well. Sometimes that works when you have a, def a really defined edge. Other times it doesn't. Now again, if you want to add to a selection, you can press Shift. Now, what if you want to subtract from a selection? So, Polygonal Lasso Tool. Let's say I had this selection right here. If you hold down Alt on PC or uh, Option on Mac, if you click, and I'll actually subtract from that selection. Okay. So anytime you create a selection, you can add to it or subtract from it by pressing Shift or Alt or Option. Another way to make a selection, you can also go to Select and then Color Range, and it, this the cursor will turn into a eyedropper tool, and you can select certain pixels, change what exactly is selected there and that will select certain color ranges so if I click this background that sky it obviously selects all the sky area okay and when I delete that you'll notice the checkerboard pattern that just means it has a transparent background so if you saved it as a PSD placed it into InDesign you could have a transparent parts to it if you're designing for the web you could save it as a PNG um, or a file extension, you know, GIF, any of the, either of those would work uh, with transparency. If you save it as a JPEG, it will add a background color to it. Another thing to consider is if you want to have, you have something selected, let's just say a square right here, and you want everything but that to be selected, you can go to select and inverse, and that will select everything but that. So it selects everything but what was originally selected. Okay, so that, those are some pretty quick uh, run through of selections, the various selection tools. Uh, go ahead and try it out. You can also adjust the edges after you make a selection. So let's say I have a square right here. You can add a feather and you can also go to select refine edge or modify. So let's just do uh, refine edge and it'll kind of preview uh, what it looks like as well. So you can do a feather. So you notice it right here, it kind of makes a blurry edge there, so it's not as uh, a distinct edge to it. So go ahead and try those different settings and see if you what you can come up with. Thank you.